Hi guys, Martin here and in today's video I'm going to be going over the difference between getting a an online blog and a business website. So the idea for this video came off the back of a phone call that I was having with a potential client. Uh, I was speaking to this client and she said that she wanted to launch a brand new website with a brand new business and she wanted to earn some income so that she could um, eventually reduce her hours at work and have this as a full-time business. Now after speaking with her for some time we worked out that potentially it would be better for her to use an online blog as opposed to just start a business website um, and she weren't really sure what the difference is between the two so I thought I'd shoot a video to explain what the, what the difference is. Now there are quite a lot of similarities when it comes to a, uh, a blog and a website and it can be very confusing if you don't really know what, where to start. So for instance, both a blog and a business website have a domain name, okay? So you need to register www.joeblogs.com or whatever it may well be. Both have an online presence which is separate from kind of your Facebook and your Twitter. They both have a separate online platform where you're able to share your information and opinions and things like that. You can include social media links on both of these different things. So you can have social media sharing options on your website and on your blog. Um, and obviously you've got your contact information as well. So it's understandable with all those similarities that you might be confused with what the difference is. But there are some key differences between having a online business website and a blog. The main idea behind a business blog is to actually share your content at the forefront of the actual website itself. So it's still a website, but nine times out of 10, a, an online blog is more focused on the content and delivering valuable information on an ongoing basis. So for instance, the homepage may well house numerous blog posts. So the second you get on the website, you see lots of content. So you have a, a stories and experiences, and different things and different aspects to the knowledge that you have about your chosen topic. And that essentially is what a blog is. So a popular blog website, if you want to see an example, is BuzzFeed. On their homepage, they have lots and lots and lots of content that help people uh, interact with it and it's a lot more uh, engaging. So they share kind of list posts and um, just general kind of information and knowledge in the style of a blog post, which takes a lot of interaction. Now, in terms of a business website, um, usually you would not have a blog section on the homepage. You'd have a dedicated homepage that talks about your services that you offer and the business itself. And you'd have things like a phone number and you'd have things like the um, how to get in contact with you via a contact form. And you'd also have links to social media and things like that as well. But predominantly, the purpose of a business website is to actually share your services and the services that you offer, okay? So it is completely different from an online blog, but there are a few similarities. Now, does that mean that you should have one or the other? Does that mean that you can either choose a business website or a blog, and once you've committed to it, you can't go back? Not necessarily. The websites that perform the best in terms of search engine traffic and organic growth are the websites, the business websites that integrate a blog within their website, okay? So a recent study by HubSpot found out that there were over 60% more traffic going to websites that have a blog than websites without a blog that are just a static kind of online business card per se. So my suggestion is if you're just wanting to dip your toe in the water and start sharing your online knowledge and information for quite cheap, then start with an online blog get people interacting with the brand and the business and building relationships and building a community around your knowledge. But if you wanna take it into a business and you wanna actually, so if you're a plumber, for instance, you might want to start a business website. But if you can marry up the two things and include a blog on the website, then you'll be on to a real winner. So that's it for today's video. If you liked it, then please click the thumbs up button and leave a comment below.